Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are playing on Critical Mode. In the last episode, we completed pretty much everything we could do at Agrabah. Now, I do apologize. Uh, you guys are going to be able to see quite clearly that my 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 uh, recorder, my capture card, seems to be totally messed up. I just ordered a new one today. So, let's head to Olympus Coliseum because they have something for us to do. Head on over to the uh, the underworld entrance where we are going to meet our friend Orin. Well, the coast is clear. No sign of the nobodies or the heartless for now, anyway. Hmm, what's that? The Underdrome. There's Orin. Fiends of the underworld once clashed there, battle after battle. But Zeus didn't like the senseless violence, so he locked the place up. How did it get unlocked? Some fool must have broken the seal. What an idiot. <laughs> it was it was us, guys. It was definitely us. Where are you going, Orin? We should catch up. If you need something to do, go help your friends. Uh Okay. So he says go help your friends, but not actually. So Payne is gonna say, just talk to me if you want to enter the tournament. Her mo his most preciousness is feeling kind of charitable, so you won't die. You should consider yourself lucky. And if you win, you'll get lots of fabulous prizes. So just like in the first game, we have tournaments available to us here in Olympus Coliseum. Sort of. So before we even bother dealing with going over here to deal with the Underdrome and take part in the Pain and Panic, it's worth mentioning that I've actually recorded this video about three different times. Uh, the first time just didn't go well. The second time, the color uh, in the video got super distorted and super messed up, but you guys don't really care about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the abilities that Sora has. I pretty much have everything equipped, including Flash Step, which we just got from Halloween Town. Uh, because we actually did Halloween Town, and now I'm coming back and doing this again, because I'll show you that I actually already did this. So we'll go and talk to, uh, Payne over here, and you'll see that I already did this. I already got in a high score of 2005, which is exactly what you need. So we are going to take part in the Underdrome Extreme. The rules. Fight alongside your friends. The drive gauge can't be used, but limits consume less MP than usual. Uh, tournament level 25. So you want to be around level 25 when you do this. So let's go ahead and let's sign up for this right now. Now, the first couple matches, I wouldn't worry about using your limits. As soon as you can, though, uh, once the enemies start getting around, so I'd say match 3 or 4, that's when you want to start using your limits as much as possible. Now, you will get more uh, points based on how big your combos are and if you uh, are able to finish people with a uh, finisher. If you were able to finish Heartless with a finisher, you will do a lot more. Uh, you will get a lot more points afterwards. So right here, we'll probably end with about uh, 400 points if we can stay on top of him as much as possible and be able to maybe finish him off with a reaction command. It looks like we weren't able to. 387 uh, is what we are going to finish the second round with. You want to be getting about 200, round, uh, 200 points uh, per round. Now, you'll notice that right off the bat, these hounds actually do a ton of damage, but we'll be fine. Keep an eye on your reaction commands as much as possible, and you will be okay. This match, I do not recommend using your uh, your limits. You just don't need it. This match, however, I highly recommend because these guys, as you saw in the Timeless River, absolutely suck. So we'll use the Trinity Limit, and then we will go ahead and use the X to start, the Ultima, and then we will go ahead and use the Triangle Attack, which will allow us to do this, and then we'll come in here and hopefully be able to kill all of these with a big max hit combo of 173 and just like that you are able to finish this match it is it is that simple after that everything's pretty easy at least for a little while again this is another situation where you're going to have to deal with those hook bats and a couple bolt towers which are actually not really a problem especially when you have access to the reaction command uh, 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 bat cry, which is super, super easy. So right here, we are going to be able to take him down, and we got 985 total. So we're not quite where we need to be. That was round match five. Here on match six, you're going to be dealing with these three gargoyles. Now, if you remember them from Beast Castle, these guys can do a lot of damage and very, very quickly, especially if they catch if you're caught in their spin. Luckily, we have Donald who will heal us. Uh, when you kill one of these, the rest of these egg bombs will actually spawn. So you want to make sure that you kind of do this uh, as quickly as possible. So right there, we were able to take down those, and now we can focus on killing this guy as well. And let's see if we can go and kill this Egg Bomb as well. And now we can deal with these Lance Knights. Now, I actually recommend using your, limity here, uh, your limit here, uh, just because these Lance Knights, if they are able to, uh, to get you, 
they will do a tremendous amount of damage and pretty much shut you down uh, entirely. But right here, we'll be able to do this, and wabam, we are able to finish them off, and we hit double score mode. Match 7 is really easy. It's a bunch of uh, against a bunch of different soldiers, so we can finish these off pretty quickly. Target the planes because they actually do this little minigun damage uh, attack that you might have noticed in Timeless River. Uh, those can get really annoying. One dog will then spawn, and then we can immediately jump right on in to even more of these. About four will spawn at this point. Uh, but luckily for us, we already took one down, and then we can just see if we can stay on this one as well. And there we go. So we only have two left, and luckily, Goofy Shield can just lock things down for days. Now, this is another situation where I highly recommend uh, potentially using your limit. Uh, unfortunately, Donald is dead, uh, or close to dead. I thought he died because I heard him I heard him cry. Uh, luckily, we were able to take him down, so we are not going to have to use our limit at, at all here, I don't believe. Uh, as long as these guys don't really do any uh, super, super serial damage to us, we'll be fine. Right there, we're at about 1,600 score, which means we will hit our goal of 2,000, I believe. So right here, this is super easy. You are now solo. This is just like the fight over in the Land of Dragons. You just kill these guys. Use Speed Trap when you can, uh, an Arrow Blade, and you'll be able to take these guys down, no problem. This is like kind of like the, the middle of the tournament. So you're actually kind of, they give you a, a nice little breather here. At least at least I would say it's a, it's a nice little breather. And obviously, Reaction Commands are going to give you some points as well. Around here is actually when I like to get to about 1,800 points in this fight. Uh, we might not actually get there for whatever reason. Um, it's kind of hard to predict exactly how much how much points you're going to end with, uh, which is really, really unfortunate. But I would say that if you can kill these with uh, your, your attacks, your uh, finishers, you want to do that instead. Because this is actually one of the lowest matches. Uh, I've actually had, and I've used Aeroblade a lot more than I usually do on this. So that's that's something to keep in mind as well. But as you can see, the Pain of Panic tournament can be really difficult if provided uh, if if you aren't able to kill things fast enough. So we did get to 1680. We need obviously about 300 points more. So right here, you actually want to run uh, right to the back and see if you can do this. Focus on these guys because these guys can get super annoying. Uh, we'll use Ultima, and then we will uh, use this. And I kind of screwed up the combo of that, but. To be honest with you it's perfectly fine because we'll suck in all of these things i don't actually think we'll kill them all uh oh we were able to kill them all and we're definitely going to hit our final goal of the amount now now we need to focus right here on yuffie we are against leon and yuffie here so this is very very similar to the first game which is actually kind of cool now you want to focus your mega drive and you want to focus on using your limit gauge on these characters as much as possible now unfortunately that didn't do much uh, but again you want to just be careful here and we'll be able to uh hopefully be able to get right back on yuffie yet again and we'll hit with ultima and as ulta uh or i should say yuffie should be your character here that should be who you are focusing down at any single time because she can do so much damage and she has the least amount of health so luckily she will go down there we go now we can focus on leon he has a little bit less than a half of a health bar left uh, so we can just focus on him and he will go down and right there we finished with less than 2000 unfortunately they don't actually give us points but that is the end of the pain and panic cup so there are ways to maximize your points that you get there. I would highly recommend not using as many reaction commands as I used, and instead using uh, your spells, and then definitely, definitely, definitely using uh, uh, finishers. You want to use finishers as much as possible. Using your limits is actually going to give you less, draw, uh, less points total. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really hard when I first did it at around level 21, 22. Now that we are level 25, it is a walk in the park. You just need to be able to maximize using your limits as much as possible. It's worth noting, if you notice while we were playing, that drive gauge was totally disabled. Totally disabled. But we had so many limits that we were actually able to use. So keep that in mind uh, when you go to attempt this. You will be able to do it. I promise you. It is not that hard. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. This was a short little episode. Uh, episode 27, Halloween Town, is available right now, so you can immediately turn and watch that one. Thank you so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some links that you can choose to press, including a Patreon button, which just for a dollar a month you can get early access to these videos. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Underdrome.